So the next type of lettering that I want to show you is something that looks pretty cool and it's really easy to do. Um, I'm sitting here thinking, do I want to go with white or do I want to go with black? Because this is a pretty dark background. Um, but I already have so much white going on here. So you got to decide, do you want the, the lettering to blend into the background and her to stand out or do you really want the lettering to pop out? So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do white on this side and then we'll do black over here. This is a curvy kind of lettering. Well, there's a couple different ways. The easiest way is just write a few letters. So let's do Okay, so I'm going to stop there. I'm doing a quote. Um, so now what I'm doing is I'm going in there and I'm adding to it. I'm kind of going over it a couple of times, making it thicker. And sometimes I like to flare out the bottoms. And I definitely like to make the curly cues. So I'm widening this. Now here's the end and I'm flaring it out like that. So it's not just square or straight, I mean. So making this a little bit thicker. Now the reason why you're probably thinking, well, if you're gonna just make it thicker, why don't you use a thicker pen? You don't have as much control and you don't have nice clean edges with a thicker pen. So That is how that's done. So let's try a different way, but this is kind of the same thing. I'm doing, I don't normally write this way in cursive, but I'm just kind of doing, trying to be really curly, cueish. Okay, so there's that. So again, I'm just gonna, I'm going in there. And every bottom curve, I want to make, I really want to make that, like accentuate that. This top curve, I'm accentuating because I have the space for it. And again, this bottom part. Okay, now my next word is going to be power, and I'm looking at this going, oh, okay, how, do I want to just put power right here, or do I want to try and make it fit in that space? I know I'm not going to get more than just one word, so I'm thinking, uh, since power is a powerful word, I am going to make this fit. You can see little spits on here. This pen will spit. <coughs> Let's see here. I'm, I'm envisioning everything right now. I'm thinking, well, if I do a really big W, am I gonna get an ER in there? So I'm thinking, let's make that smaller. And let's just go like that. That will work. So now, I'm not making this, see I'm still leaving some areas skinny and some fatter. Otherwise it'd look more like the last video. I'm flaring that out up there. <clears throat> I don't have as much room to go crazy, so. <clears throat> okay, so now, This, I might just want to leave like that. Why not? It doesn't always have to be the same. Maybe I'll add it in just a little bit of extra. Um. <clears throat> Now I'm making a really big E because that space was pretty big 
for one word. This time, I don't know, I'm feeling like doing tall, skinny things in this space. I'm doing slight flares on the ends here. So you, I think you guys get the picture. Okay, done with that. I wrote that quote down somewhere, but I didn't write down the author. You should always write down the author of the quote. So you can see how I sp filled up that space with lettering and it just starts becoming, it lo starts looking more like a journal page. So let's do something on this side in black if we have some time. else if you want to do a quote on your page you look for how much space you have if you have a lot of space which I consider this to be a ton of space actually then I would look for a really long quote and probably make it a little bit smaller than I did here but if you just have a little tiny area then you're gonna look for a sh short quote but I'll, I have I wrote down a couple quotes so that I wouldn't have to stop and think here and it's just like five words. So we're going to do this big, really big over here. And again, I think it's, let's just go like this. We're just doing cursive. And we're trying to like press it harder in places and then pull up so we can get big thick lines and Oh, that's something else I wanted to talk about. <clears throat> I actually usually like to try and go over the edge into either on the picture or in on the, the borders here. Um, I don't know. It just helps suck everything down again. So don't get stressed out if it doesn't fit and you have to go. Think about it ahead of time. If this was a really long word, then I actually might start it over here and just write it all the way over there. I mean, there's no rules to say that you have to do it one way or the other. So this is not a long word, but now I've got a, a short word and not, or a longer word and not very much space. And I usually don't like having my letters overlap, but that's fine. So I could just leave that as it is, but something else you can do, kind of the same thing that we did over here with this Be Fearless. You can take a fine line white pen because right now this really is too dark. It's just, it's dark on dark. So I'm gonna fix it. Everything is fixable. And that's how you happen on happy surprises. So now I'm just going to completely out outline this. And if you think that this is too tedious, think again. Because if I wasn't talking and I was just doing this, like at some coffee house, listening to my music, it would be kind of meditative to just kind of just follow the lines. You don't have to think a lot. So anyways, if you have weird little spots, just fix those, make it thicker. So you can see where I'm going with this. That's another thing you can do with lettering. And I know I don't have to finish that off for you.